Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. And I'm standing in front of one of Austin's paintings. Again, I'll step aside so you can have a look at it. And also in this show that goes for this month is the continuing work of Richard Baksani and his fabulous metal sculptures. Hey guys, I get this said to me a lot, not just when people write me, but also out in public when I'm talking to people and different events, people will say things to me. And, and something someone says to me often is that, uh, and I, I, I don't like it, but I know it's said a lot, the, the, harder I, the harder I work, the luckier I get. You know, I, I find that uh, the more consistently I work, the more opportunities come my way. And I prefer that. I'm not a big fan of luck. I think luck is uh, overrated. I think luck is something that we want to happen to us when things aren't going the way we want them to go. Okay? So, I look at this way that we would be far better to concentrate, concentrate on creating opportunities rather than to be looking for luck to come along and make it happen for us. And we create opportunities by getting attention, by people recognizing us, getting to know us, we're getting seen, they recognize our face, they know us. You see, if you're just painting in your studio and you're not the complete artist that we talk about, and the complete artist I mean by doing wonderful paintings, marketing yourself properly, understanding the sales and understanding after sales service and understanding personal development. If you're not that complete artist and you're waiting for luck to come along, then you will believe, like I believe for many years, that if I just painted great paintings in my studio, that all of a sudden someone would come and knock, knock, knock on my door and I'd be discovered. Well, it's a myth. It doesn't happen like that. I never got discovered. I was waiting to be discovered. I believed that myth, and I'm really being honest with you. I really did believe that I would be discovered, and it never happened. And that's when I began to really look at the success of an artist and what it really took to become a success. And being in the gallery business, I was then able to interview artists over the last 20 years and come to the conclusion of what did it really take to be a successful artist. And I don't believe it's luck. I believe it's the ability to create opportunities. And that's what we do. Now you can call that luck if you want, that's fine. But we must be able to create opportunities for ourselves and we don't create opportunities by just sitting in the studio. I learned that lesson. We create opportunities by being a complete artist. And I use that word complete artist because I do not believe in the years to come that the gallery system and the dealer system as we understand it will support artists. I don't believe it can. I don't believe, I think the gallery system is broken. I've said that along. I believe art schools are terribly broken and I believe there's new things coming and it's all becoming because of this medium, this medium that I'm talking to you through, the internet. And the internet has changed the world forever. Now people can say, well, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to believe that. I, I, I want things to stay the way they are. That's fine, but they're not going to stay the way they are. Things are going to continue to change and change rapidly, change quickly. So we as artists, to be a complete artist, need to be creating attention. And that requires consistency. Okay. To create opportunities, what must I be doing? Well, I must, first of all, be painting good original artwork. I believe that. Whether you do landscapes or still lifes or portraits or this kind of work or whatever kind of abstract work you do, as long as it's original work that's coming directly from you that you are coming up with without having to go and copy somebody else, that is what I'm talking about by being original work. Because the truth is, as an art buyer, I want to buy your original work. I do not want to go and buy another Leonardo da Vinci. If I want one, I go, but well, you can't get them anyway. But you understand what I'm saying. I'll go and buy a print. I don't want someone to copy it for me. So we already know my stand there, so we won't go on with that. The second thing is, is that I must get exposure. And I really use the word must. You must get exposure. If you're waiting for a gallery or a dealer to give you the exposure, you're going to wait forever because there's just not enough galleries left and there's not enough dealers to do that for you. 
and they really want to trade in artists who are well known they want to trade in artists that they can sell very quickly and easily they're not looking to trade in art like this because they look at it that what's the long term there's no ROI in this you know this is tough to sell so you've got to get you personally have got to get the exposure for yourself how do I do that well, you do it through social media. You do it through Facebook that we, you're looking at right now. You uh, post uh, as much as you can. Um, I don't think there's too much posting. Uh, I think you could post a whole lot more than most people do. You, you use social media purely as a business tool. You keep your personal things away from it. You use Twitter, Instagram, all these different things. I like certain things. I do like YouTube and I think that every artist should have a YouTube channel. I do think you should be using Facebook videos. They are very, very good and they do reach out and touch a lot of people and Facebook like original videos onto them. Now, if you're gonna do videos as I keep wanting and asking you all to do, remember to put your face on the video. It's so important. People have got to recognize you. They won't just recognize your paintings. Uh, you know, I hear others say to me, oh yeah, but I've got a specific style and that's the style I'm going to paint in all the time because this is how I'm known. I mean, well, I don't agree with that. You know, I think paint as you feel and led to paint. We are emotional beings and some days you want to paint a certain way, paint that way. And if that's not your style, who cares? It's your art. You see, art is about you, the artist. It's not about the painting. The painting is a result of you. You create the painting. The painting doesn't create you. So if you paint one day you paint this way, and this is the way you were led to paint, you emotionally, that's the way you did. And the next day you paint a painting that's just black and white stripes. As long as that's the emotion that you had, and that's the desire of the finished work that you were looking for, that's your art. You see, the artists get really thing up that this is the artist. No, it's not the art. This is the result of the artist. The artist is what's important. You are the important thing, not the paintings. Yes, we've got to sell the paintings. I understand that better than anybody. We need to sell the artwork. We need to sell it and get rid of it and move on and do new artwork. This is, of course, if you put prices on your paintings. If you don't sell your paintings and you're painting for the love of painting, that's wonderful. I am all for that. So, you know, it's all about producing the work that's you. So get it out there. Get it on the videos. Get a blog going, talk about things, share with people, get an email list going and be consistent with that. Get your artist packs and carry them always so you can give them out. Get involved in competitions, get involved in charity auctions. Get your face onto things so you get the exposure. That's how opportunities come. That's how luck, if you want to use the word luck, comes by getting exposure, by being out there. And sales are the result of getting that exposure. We need sales, you need sales, opportunities create that for us. So friends, I'm saying that. Now people say to me, oh yeah, but it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's very hard. When people come here, I read people in Facebook posts and they go, you know, I've decided I'm going to give up my work and I'm going to go out and paint full time. What do you think? You know my, what I think? Keep your full time job. Paint part time. Don't paint full time. This is hard to do. Now they don't tell you that. I read all these different writers and they all talk about how, you know, we can do, you can be successful. You know, the, you know how many are successful? I don't want to rain on your parade, but unless you're prepared to work seriously hard at this, it's, not, it's hard work. This is going to take five, ten years to become known, probably even longer. You can be someone like me and never get known. It's just, you can't, you've got to think. The reason people give up is because it's tough. People give up in the art business because they get no sales, so they give up. They get no recognition, so they give up. It's hard work, so they give up. They, they, they have to go out every weekend and work in markets, so they give up. It's just too much. But if you can consistently hang in there and work hard on you as a complete artist, you will find success to a level of what you were looking for. You can be successful. Everybody can be successful in this if you want to hang in there, work hard, develop yourself as a complete artist, 
not just a painter, not just somebody who can sell, but complete, and that is personal as well as professional, you can be successful. But the problem is, most people give up because it's hard. And nobody said it would be easy. People just think it's easy. And many artists think because they paint a beautiful painting and they put it up on the wall that it should sell. Nobody said it should sell. Nobody said it would sell. It may sell. And if you create enough attention around yourself and create enough about you as an artist, you'll get sales. But if you just put your paintings up there and, and stand back and say, well, the painting's got to sell itself, it doesn't do that. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to get exposure. So everybody who's been listening to me for a long time understands that's where I stand. So for all the new people out there, this is about being a complete artist. It's not about just painting a painting, okay? It's being a complete person. Okay, I'm going to leave it there today. I'll get go on with this a little bit more because there's a few new people who are asking me questions about this and I want to make sure you understand completely. Okay, guys, you have a great day. I'm looking forward to the day when I come and visit you and see your studio and talk about what you do. Okay, remember people are hurting out there. There's many out there who need smiles and hugs. Give them away freely. And guys, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. You have a fabulous day. Ciao.